All right, in today's video, I'm going to look at uh, some long-term charts um, on commodities and maybe try and make some guesses as to whether or not I think the um, CRB, the Commodity Complex, has uh, completed a three-year cycle top. I'm, I'm not so sure that it has, and I'll, I'll explain here in a minute. But anyway, uh, I'm using the um, DBC ETF here uh, as a proxy for the CRB. It, it follows it pretty closely. Um, so we got our, our three-year cycle low back here in 2020. The next one is um, due probably the spring or summer of 23. So I guess in theory one could make a case that maybe this three-year cycle uh, advance is done and, and um, we're now going to be in the declining phase uh, of that cycle for the next eight months or so. Uh, and then, you know, we'll get our, our bottom somewhere out, out here in the spring or summer of, of 23. Uh, but I'm, I'm not completely convinced that that's the case. So the uh, next thing I want to do is look at oil, because it's the main driver of the commodity complex. All right, so let's uh, let me widen this chart just a little bit. So uh, I warned people that this was going to happen when we got this kind of a blow off top for the uh, when the Russia invaded Ukraine. Um, that that was the potential for uh, the CRB to top. But my my feeling was that the oil probably was not going to crash, that it was just going to go sideways uh, through uh, May and uh, or April, May and maybe maybe into uh, June, and that's exactly what it has done. It's just churning sideways, kind of in this um, box here, with 93 being the the lower part of the box and uh, 130 being the, the upper part. A lot of people were, um, of course, looking for a push to 150 to test those all-time highs back from two, uh, 2011. That ha has not occurred. Notice here that the RSI is getting embedded in the oversold condition. Uh, that's a sign that um, we're, we're in an intermediate decline. So uh, I think what has happened here is <clears throat> we've 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 got our, our rally, and <clears throat> I guess this is kind of a strange first daily cycle. This um, dip went just slightly below this one, so I guess I would include this bounce uh, in this first daily cycle. Now we're in a second daily cycle. It, uh, it, it was not able to make a higher high, and now I expect at some point here oil is going to come down and and break below this low. But it, it looks to me like this is a sideways consolidation at this point rather than something that's just going to keep going lower and, and you know, until we find a bottom, you know, I don't know, way, way down here in uh, mid-2023. I, I don't really see that happening. So I am not convinced at this point that the that the rally, or at least at least the, this part of the three-year cycle, uh, a long-term secular bull market, I'm not convinced that this is over. I'm, I'm, I have half the mind that this is a sideways consolidation, uh, that that's now in the final move down into an intermediate cycle low that, uh, that you know may make a slightly lower low, but then I think, you know, we're going to start the advancing phase of a new intermediate cycle. And that's the one I think that could maybe test that 150. So based on this chart of oil, uh, I think there is a, a decent chance that um, the, the CRB um, could just correct here and then have another leg up. And, uh, you know, again, I've, I've stressed this again, you know, when these, when these markets get stretch too far above these long-term moving averages that that's your signal to take profits get out um, and the CRB is stretched way too far above this um, 200 day uh, moving average so um, you know we, we've probably got more to go here but the oil cycle is getting a, a bit mature the daily cycle and the intermediate cycle should bottom along with this daily cycle so uh, we've got more to go, but I don't know that we have all that many more days to go. Um, maybe only a week, week and a half, um, and then I think that would be done. 
and and then I think maybe we could see oil make a, a run for um, that, that 150 target area 147 150 so not completely convinced yet that this is a three-year cycle top just because it's it's a bit early obviously we've started a new secular bull market um, this was the uh, top of the last three-year cycle in here so we obviously we've made a higher high something we haven't done in about uh, 10 11 years so we're in a, a new secular bull market we just got stretched quite far to the upside and now uh, all of these people that that piled on late uh, in this move are, are getting stopped out and it's that's going to um, power this move down is more and more stops are going to get hit for all these late buyers uh, and that'll power the move down but I don't think it's going to change the fundamentals so I'm anticipating uh, oil will will make a bottom here in the not too distant future and then then we could get another run up that that may stretch even further above the uh, 200 day moving average and push this a little bit deeper into this three year cycle maybe into the fall and uh, by the way that's very often when uh, gold forms um, a yearly cycle top as well so um my feeling at this point anyway based on the oil chart is that that this is uh, obviously an intermediate correction you know very similar to how, what this was uh, similar to this similar to this uh, and, but that we could definitely get a bottom here and then start another leg up that could make make another higher high before this three-year cycle tops and then we get our three-year cycle top and then we move down into that um, uh, three-year cycle low right in here that may also turn out to be the four-year cycle low in the stock market um, could turn out to be um, maybe a, a bottom uh, in, in a recession that the Fed will then pivot and and start printing again cutting um, interest rates and then we get uh, we get a slightly short four-year cycle in stocks and a, a normal cycle in the CRB multi-year cycle that is and then uh, we we start back up again uh, from there because I obviously like I said I uh, it seems pretty obvious to me that we've started a new secular bull market so this would only be a um, uh, you know a, a major correction within that long-term secular bull market they usually run eight to ten years so um, if, if everything were to to go down and and make a bottom here in the spring or summer of 23 uh, maybe a bottom in a in a recession and then uh, central banks reverse course uh, th and then you know the inflation picture comes roaring back and and uh, and things just get worse from there uh, bad policy is what got us into this I don't see politicians changing you know they they never admit mistakes they just double down on failed strategies so um, when the recession does take hold and everything starts to deflate I'm I'm pretty sure they'll just go back to what they um, you know what caused all this in the first place and that's more and more money money printing and more and more artificially low rates which will just keep the secular bull market in uh, stocks alive and and in fact um, uh, raising rates right now probably is not gonna is probably gonna be uh, bad for inflation because it's gonna make um, make it tougher for uh, commodity companies to expand and increase supply and that is a big part of the inflation uh, problem this time around is we have supply problems on top on top of money problems